Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to read a JSON file by using data flow task and use flatten activity. And so what we are going to do, we are going to read the JSON file and write to the CSV file. So why uh, you would not use the copy activity? Copy activity also gives the opportunity to uh, read the JSON data, but there is some problem. With the copy activity, we have the limitation when you have multiple elements in an array. It's going to read only the first element. That's the problem. So in the last demo, what I did, I have this file. And in this file, I have this array called children. And inside the children, I have two elements right there. So first was one of my son names. And the second is a second, uh, uh, my second son name. So what happened when we read the data, it only read the first array. So also it did the same thing for the social media array. So let me show you that. And then we're going to use the data flow task and flatten activity to read all the elements on the array and flatten them. Now, let me take you to the output activity and here uh, you can see right there. So you see that it only read the, uh, it read the record, whatever the record is there, then only first uh, element of uh, array it read. That's a problem with the copy activity. So it might work, but uh, if uh, they will give you the copy activity, uh, let's say they, Microsoft give you the uh, all the features in copy activity, then you're not going to use the data flow task and data flow is the, is the task where uh, the billing is high. So and that's one of the things probably Microsoft want to make some money from you. And uh, that's why they did not give you all the uh, features in copy, copy activity. The copy activity billing is way less than data flow task because uh, on each of the data flow task, a Spark cluster has to be spin and then uh, uh, that's going to work. Also, there could be complex scenarios or a code that cannot be handled in the copy activity for the inner and nested uh, elements. So that could be one reason. And uh, they have done a lot of more development with the data flow and have a broad uh, flatten activity. So I'm not going to go into those details. There could be so many reasons uh, with those uh, uh, different items. Uh, our goal is uh, to create that uh, data flow task and read the file and uh, just flatten it out and create a nice uh, output. Uh, so let me take you to the storage here is our input and input uh, we have uh, this file same file what i showed you on the notepad so right there i have first name amir last name and then i live in charlotte north carolina there is an array so this is my array it has uh, children and the two of my ch children names are there then i have social media array that has my twitter facebook and github information now i'm going to close this uh, and uh, let's uh, go to the the Azure Data Factory and here what we are going to do, we are going to create a new pipeline. So let me go right there. Here is the pipeline. I'm going to click on uh, three dots here, new pipeline. I'm going to call this pipeline PL JSON and uh, data flow and flatten okay, uh, activity. This is all good. First of all, what you will be bringing here, you are going to bring a data flow. So just click on data flow and now you will bring the data flow. Once you bring the data flow, you have to double click here. And now what you need, you need a data flow debug because if you want to debug the data flow, you need to click right there. It's going to ask you, hey, you want to create this Spark cluster or compute? Uh, that's going to be like a, a debug time to live. A one hour so I don't know how much uh, it will be charges for this one but it's okay I'm um, my subscription is paid and uh, last month I paid pretty much $200 for these demos so anyways I'm gonna go for one hour hit okay and uh, now um, what could I be? yeah that's fine for for course that's okay now I'm gonna double click on this guy and then uh, what's gonna I'm gonna go to settings and here is the compute and all that you could have actually yeah that's the minimum you can select so i made okay choices now in the this pipeline you see this pipeline i need to click right there and then edit data flow so in the data flow uh, once i brought the data flow here i can click on new and uh, once i click on new it's going to open the editor so i can work on the data flow hit uh, finish i am okay with that i'm going to add the source and in the source you guys know that my source is uh, json so i'm going to go to the data set here add and it's going to give me all those options here i'm going to select azure blob storage here 
and in the edge view blob storage i'm going to select json hit ok now select the uh, link service. I'm going to create a new link service so you would know that how to create the link service. So you're going to select your subscription. After selecting the subscription, what you're going to do, you're going to select your uh, storage account. Now we can uh, hit the uh, test connection and uh, this is going to be all good uh, because that's uh, I am pointing to my storage right there, tech browser storage. So no big deal. Uh, and we can create uh, this. Uh, so Azure Blob Storage 3 that's our link service. Uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to click on uh, browse here, so go to the input folder and select our input file. Now this is all good. I'm going to leave everything as it is, import schema, yes, fine, and hit OK. Now let's uh, play with this a little bit uh, and uh, see a few options. Uh, now if I will go ahead and uh, right here, if I can open, um, first of all, I am going to go and uh, try to uh, preview the data so you can see right there I can preview the data first name last name and all that my children and then my social media information is there so schema if you see it already brought the schema so first name last name location that it brought the array you can see these uh, square brackets here and they say object and inside that I have name and age elements uh, or whatever you call them then you have social media array and then further you have a description and link so this looks good and I'm not using any parameter or anything, so I'm going to be just fine. I will go back to data flow one, and here uh, I'm going to go to the source options, and uh, I have to, I don't have to do anything here. I'm going to go to the projections, and I can see the same information what we just saw in the previous uh, sort of source option. I can go to the inspect, and I can take a look right there too. So looks good. So you have all these elements here, or uh, these are coming as a string, and then you have children, and that's coming as an array, and that's coming as a complex. So you have a sub elements right there. Now we go to the data preview, and it's saying, please wait while the debug session start. So you see right there, data flow debug is still in working. So it is uh, trying to prepare our Spark cluster that we can use uh, to perform this different uh, actions in the data flow. So uh, once uh, that's ready, we will be able to preview the data. So I'm going to wait here because I want to show you one error here that uh, often people get it. So yeah, data flow debug session is ready and our session ID is uh, whatever the session ID. If I go ahead and hit refresh, I, will, I should get one error. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Uh, uh, malformed record are detected in schema inter uh, inference. Uh, uh, parse mode fast uh, fail faster okay so this is the error i'm getting first time when i got this error uh, i was worried about like oh my file, json file is not working or something like that so i was struggling like what exactly is happening then i came to the source uh, settings and here i went to the let me source uh, options and i went to the json settings uh, in the json settings uh, what i need to do is see right here say document per line that's not right because i have array of documents inside uh, so i had to click on array of documents and that uh, took care of uh, everything uh, now if i go to the data preview refresh it should bring me a nice and clean data from my file so see right there it read the first name then it read the second name last name and read the location now under the children this is the airway so right here is social media is the airway as well i can click right there and it's going to show me children one and children two yes i have two values first was header and then the other one is raza so it's showing me value nicely but i would like to get them as the flattened rows so see there are three social media so one Twitter, second, Facebook, and the third one is uh, GitHub. So it's showing, showing me that too. But I would like to get some uh, flattened uh, in, uh, rows. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click right here on the plus sign. And then uh, I'm going to bring uh, flatten uh, transformation. Here I'm going to click uh, and see right there, it already selected all those uh, columns. So see right here it says brought first name, last name, location, and then it's showing me arrays. So, I'm not really interested to put those arrays there. I would like to actually get the values from the array. So here, what you're going to do, this is your, uh, you're going to leave this as it is, and then you're going to go to the unroll by. See here, it says, choose the array in your data to flatten. I wish there would be multiple options here there where I can select multiple arrays, but there are not. So you have to work one array at a time. So I'm going to go here and select children 
and in the children now you can further unroll this root depending upon uh, you see right there choose the level of these hierarchy to include in the flatten operation default is to unroll all array up to your chosen root so in my case that's all i have you know uh, i don't have sub arrays and all that so this is okay for me but if you have then you can choose the level or to which level you would like to flatten now uh, we are good here so i can do multiple things here i can delete and then add the columns or uh, let's do that so we will do one thing here uh, let me delete and then I'm going to go add, add a column and call fix mapping. Now in this one, I'm going to select the children. Under the children, I'm going to select the name. So see right there, children.name. And then I'm going to get, go ahead and add another fix to mapping column. That's going to be my, under the children, the age. So I'm going to have this the same name here. Now what we need to do here, we need to actually add uh, one more column there so that we actually, let's see which one. So we should add that array, uh, this social media. We just leave this one as an array here. And then what we have to do, we have to use another flat and, uh, um, uh, transformation, sorry, activity and then use it. Uh, so as of now, if I will go and uh, do data preview, so refresh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna flatten uh, by the children so i should have two rows because i have two children see right there it came my name first name is a duplicate but uh, my name of children came right there so see heather and vaza and the other ages now in the social media you can still is an array and it has a three records but i would like to uh, put that in the rows as well so what i have to do i'm gonna go ahead and add another flatten transformation or actually I work with SSIS a lot and it uh, kind of bothers me I always say uh, transformation this is activity okay so as you see right there and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete the social media and I'm gonna bring these uh, first of all unroll by social media and then uh, you are gonna go unroll root level okay fine and then I'm gonna add those columns there fixed so right there so here in the description and then another uh, one I need to add is uh, the last column right there, link. So you see right there, so we have uh, this name and age is coming from uh, our children. And uh, now uh, this is the last one we are doing, social media dot description and uh, social media dot link. Um, so uh, if I go and preview the data, now I should have all the data in the tabular format and there should be no uh, arrays or elements in the arrays uh, they should be all uh, coming in a tabular see looks good so my name is repeating over and uh, then first name last name location and uh, my children so first name last name and uh, then uh, their names their age and uh, then uh, you have uh, this uh, Twitter and uh, what you have there you have uh, this Facebook so this is how it will look like now what we will do we will uh, finally write the data to the sink I'm going to bring the sync here and in our case so we can write the data to the table or we can write the data to the flat file or uh, CSV file. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a Azure Blob Storage uh, CSV file. So I hit uh, the limited text and uh, we are going to use the same uh, linked service but choose, choose a different container. So we will choose the output container here and uh, I'm going to hit OK. I did not provide any file name here. Yes, the first row has header and uh, i can select none in the import schema so hit ok now we are all good here let me go back and go to settings and here i'm going to say uh, file name options and i'm going to say single file i'm trying to name uh, output to single file and here i have to provide the name so i'm going to call it json output file that csv okay so we should be all good here. Uh, I don't think so we have to do any changes here. Uh, data preview if you wanna see that and uh, otherwise you are good here. So we can go back to our pipeline and in the pipeline we can hit the debug. Okay, file name option output to single file requires single partition to be selected partition type. So we'll go back here and uh, we are gonna go to sync settings and uh, here we are going to go to the sync 
and uh, here let me see I'm trying to find out uh, that uh, sync okay so I finally found this guy so uh, you are uh, on once uh, you uh, click on the sync then you're gonna go to the optimize uh, and here you're gonna say single partition once you do the single partition uh, uh, is uh, then uh, you, if because I would like to write all the records uh, into the uh, my single file uh, so in the sync uh, you can see right there so we are all good here we are gonna go back to our JSON uh, sorry pipeline and here I'm gonna hit the debug okay data set uh, is required okay I probably have deleted that so click on new and uh, blob storage uh, CSV now we are gonna go to the our link service and here is I'm gonna select uh, output and uh, here yes none and uh, hit okay and uh, now I will make some settings here so in the settings uh, yes output single file that's our file name and uh, we go to mapping and uh, in the optimized single partition we are all good so we are gonna go back and debug now Finally, our data flow is completed uh, and pipeline is completed as well. So we can go back to our output uh, container and here is uh, our output file. So just an output file. So click right there. And now what we are going to do, we are going to go to edit and uh, that's where we can see right there. So our first name, last name, location, the name of children, age, and the description and link. So you can see that uh, there are total six uh, records and uh, that's how it was supposed to be. So it looks good and uh, just uh, to let you know as I told you in the copy activity you have a limitation you will be only able to read the first element of the array in that case is uh, that's why you need to use uh, the data flow task with the flatten uh, activity. So thank you very much for watching now please go ahead and subscribe my channel if you guys like my effort and uh, I will see you guys in next video.